Yeah. Yeah, today our class will focus on break, continue, label break, label continue. Now we'll just go through an example. We'll take a for loop. We have a traditional for loop i equal to 0, i less than 10, plus plus i. And we print the value of i within the loop. So in order to demonstrate how break works, we'll just put a check or a condition here. If i equals 3, we'll say break. Now what essentially break does is, it breaks any repetitive loop. So in this case, we have a for loop which is repeating. So this break will essentially break this for and will jump to this print after this break is executed. So what, how the loop executes is, now this i starts from 0 and then it moves through 1, 2 and 3 and at i equal to 3 this condition becomes true and we break the for. So when we break the for, this is the end of the for loop. So we come outside the for loop and this print is executed at i equal to 3. So because i equal to 3 the loop is broken so we have no output beyond i equal to 3. So all the loop 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 this is all you know remains pending. So we'll just see the output 0, 1, 2 and then we have after the loop. So at i equal to 3 we are out of the loop through this break. So we'll just change this break to continue. And now let's see what, what difference it makes to the output. So at i equal to 0 again, the print goes, then i equal to 1, i equal to 2. Now at i equal to 3, this condition is true and it says continue. So continue means continue with the next value of the loop. So, so continue means continue with the next value of the loop that will be 4. So this is the only value for which we'll have no output. Otherwise for all rest of the values in this loop, we'll have an output of i. So we'll just see. So this is the output. We have output corresponding to 0. We have an output corresponding to 1, 2. But, but here the magic lies. There is no output corresponding to i equal to 3. So continue essentially means continue with the next value of i and break means you jump out of the for loop or any repetitive loop out to, uh, to uh, any code which is beyond that loop. So this is essentially simple break and simple continue and now we will go on and see what essentially is label break and label continue. So we will use uh, two for loops. Let us have a simple i loop or uh, let's say 4 started from 1. So we will have an output of 1, 2 and 3 and I have an inner loop of j which will print 4 times j less than 4 plus plus j j this is the j part and this is after the this is end of the outer four this is end of inner four and I just output here I and have a small tab to have a small gap between the values and after the loop of j to get the print to a new line I use println to shift to a new line. I haven't used any break any continue 
and we'll just have a look on what output we have for such a loop. Yeah. So this is the output we have. We have four times one, then four times two, then four times three, and then we have a print which is after the loop. So suppose we want to design the system so that we have no output after two. So we finish all the loops at i equal to 2. So we, we won't run this loop for i equal to 3. So I put a check here. If i equals 2, so I need to break. Now in case I put a break here, this will break this for while the outer i, it will still continue in case, you know, we have for a bigger value. So this loop still continues for i equal to 3, i equal to 4. But we want to close everything once we have reached a value of i equal to 2. I can put on 3 so that at least we have 2 rows to show off. So in this case, I need to break this for and reach at this point when we have a condition of i double equals 3. So I'll put a label here, I'll say 1, put a colon, and then I'll say break 1. So what this will do for me is, when i equals 3, this will break this loop which starts here and which ends at this point, and I'll reach this point. So you can put on a label at any loop, at any level, and we can break with, break with the label. We just go through what output we have. See, we have output coming for 1, we have output coming for 2, but we have no output beyond 2 because we have a break which says that the entire loop structure breaks when i equals 3. Now similarly, we can do a similar case for i equal to 3, we don't want any output. Whereas we want output for i equal to 1, i equal to 2, i equal to 4. So I'll just, instead of break, I'll use continue. So let's see what, what change it brings to the output. So we have output corresponding to 1, we have output corresponding to 2, but we have no output corresponding to 3 because at i equal to 3, I say continue 1. So we shift from this, we shift directly to the next value of i, which will be 4. So the, again the loop, it starts with i equal to 4, and then i equal to 5, the condition becomes false, and the system shifts to after the 4. So I'll just go through in a small summary. Break breaks the current repetitive loop and break with a label. You can break any loop to whom you have attached that label. Continue shall continue that particular loop with the next value and continue with a label will mean continuing that labeled loop with the next value. So I hope this clears.